When a company releases a fix to all the problems you had with their product, that just gets me so excited and that's exactly what Snapchat has just done. For the past like two weeks, I've been wearing these sunglasses at the beginning of every video. And these aren't just like any regular sunglasses. These are Snapchat spectacles. There's actually a camera right here. And to start recording, just press this button and voila, I am recording my phone right now. These right here are Snapchat Spectacles version one back in 2016. So Snapchat has actually refreshed them, added a nice new refresh to the Snapchat Spectacles. Now they're called Snapchat Spectacles version two. I originally said not to buy the Snapchat Spectacles version two when they were released in late April of this year because I had three gripes with the product that weren't fixed yet. I mean, yeah. The first problem that I had with Spectacles was that you can't export the video in 16 by nine. So all you had to snap this video because in case you didn't know this camera only records in circular but now with snapchat's latest spectacle software you can now crop in to that circular video and get that 16 by 9 without cropping it yourself in post-production that makes it much easier to export to all these different social media it makes it easier to twitter to instagram to my youtube videos this is 16 by 9 is the original format i don't want no circle and when snapchat spectacles released late april you still had to only export it in the circular format but later in like June or July, Snapchat came out with the software update and now you could export in 16 by nine, even on the Snapchat version one. Another problem that I had with version one spectacles is that they weren't water resistant. Snapchat always said that you could probably get by by like dumping them in water, but they weren't officially water resistant according to Snapchat. Well, version two officially is. So that's another problem fix right there. But most of these fixes have been software because now with version two, even version one, you can now take a photo. Importing them from your sunglasses to the Snapchat app is now supposedly four times faster. They instantly import in HD. All these software fixes came after two months of the Snapchat version two being released. So when Snapchat version two was officially announced and open to the public, I'll say, no, no, don't get them because it's the exact same problem as a version one. But now both the version one and version two has got those software upgrades. Because I could take a photo right now, and voila, I just took a foot. But what I didn't say in that don't buy Snapchat version two video is that I don't really like the design of Snapchat spectacles that much. We can just take a look at them and just take a look at them on my face. They aren't normal sunglasses. They look a little peculiar. And in this version, the camera actually like really stands out. But it's not that version two. And then I'll get to the ones that they released today. They got me really excited. But it's not that version two. They took out this yellow ring so it matches the color of the actual sunglasses. And also in version 2.0, they made this technology compartment a little bit smaller so it's more comfortable for being on your face but that whole spiel gets me on to what snapchat has to release today on a kind of new upgraded version of the snapchat spectacles version 2 i'll call it version 2.5 version 2.5 start out at 200 dollars version 2 started out at 150 and version 1 started at 130 so Snapchat's kind of raising the prices, but I kind of think it, I mean, it deserves it. Having a camera on your face, although very, very weird and not like accustomed to the culture for many, many people, this is so convenient because the best camera is the one you have on you. And it is as simple as just pressing a button and I am recording, that simple. So Snapchat Spectacles for $200, that's, that's still great value now with all those software fixes. But version 2.5 isn't really a massive internal spec upgrade, it's an external hardware upgrade. And now it's called Nico and Veronica. I wonder where Snapchat has gotten these two names, Veronica and Nico. Veronica is definitely the spectacles for girls and Nico is more the spectacles for boys. I haven't said this yet, but for the first time in Snapchat spectacles history, Snapchat is changing away from that circular format and now they actually look like really good and they look like special spy glasses. I mean, just take a look at Nico. I want that. So Snapchat, although you bumped up your spectacles up $50, you have made them much more appealing. Look at them I and mean, just take a look at this design. That circular design is what makes the fall of what these look like on the outside to other people. But with the new Nico glasses, the new Veronica glasses, they actually look like normal sunglasses. Snapchat has definitely convinced me over the past two and a half years to get these brand new Snapchat version 2.5 spectacles or the just I could call them Nico and Veronica. 
Nico only comes in that black color and Veronica comes in that polarized lens so it comes like from a black to more of a purple shade and then it comes on the outside just black. These two new versions of the spectacles Nico and Veronica now are going to have a, this nice aesthetic when you're actually going to want them to wear in public because a camera on your face you cannot get more convenient like that. Like, I, like Sam Sheffer said it's a GoPro but without that big harness or that big helmet strap it's just this is amazing now that they're waterproof the software is fixed you could export them in 16 by 9 snapchat you have now convinced me and i'm, I'm giving the go to buy snapchat version 2 or if you want to call it nico or veronica I love your opinion about the brand new Snapchat version 2.5 Nico and Veronica sunglasses. Now, what do you think of a camera on your face? Because this is kind of the future, kind of maybe, maybe if people adopt it, but you are for sure an early adopter with these glasses. Thank you to all my subscribers for watching this video and I will see you tomorrow.